<clears throat> so as you guys walk into town, as you're coming down the path from Tribor Trail, you see to your right there is a good size encampment uh, near a hill of tents. And they have the symbol of Neverwinter on the side of them. As you get closer to the entrance of Phandalin, right around here, you see a you see about five guards standing there. Whoa. Just watching all of you approach. God, Ghost, what did you do this time? I don't know. Maybe we should uh, start thinking about the one that was that was with you and just vanished one day. <clears throat> you might have a point. No. Damn. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Mm. You're you're basically on the outskirts walking towards the town. I mean, do they stop us? When you get close, yes. Oh. But you we guys gotta... are still coming down the road. I leave the talking to somebody else. <laughs> oh, I should probably do that. I forgot to roll. Oh, yeah. Guys. Hurry up and get your practice roll in. We're all gonna die. Day. Are you guys approaching or? Yes. As you, uh, they're kind of like standing off to the sides here. As you get closer. One stops in the one walks into the center of the path, kind of barring your way in. And he just he looks at your uh, motley little crew, just like, Excuse me. can we help you? Uh, what's the reason for the the guards? We got a call about some orcs and some other characters around here. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, well, we're the orc slayers. Haven't you heard? I'm talking about the ranch. No, haven't heard of you. Hmm. What's your business in town? We're here to. T we're, we're turning in a quest. We're turning in the bounty on all the orcs that we kill. Yeah, there was twenty. <laughs> I'm just carrying around a bunch of weapons. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah, as way. you guys have walked <laughs> up, you just have Twig there, just across his back has two great swords, five spears, <laughs> just walking <laughs> up with them. Like, okay, how are you guys standing as you're talking to him? <clears throat> I'm just kind of there, just standing in the middle, I guess. Okay. Like, who's? Are you, are you like a semicircle kind of in front of them, or are you like standing in a line? <laughs> I, I imagine we're all standing in like a a circle around them. No, no, like a semicircle. I mean, <laughs> not a circle. But <laughs> yeah, we gang up on them. Get them, boys. Cases want to move up. As, as he's kind of just like he's eyeing you suspiciously because he sees all the weapons you're carrying the armor that all of you have he's just he's standing there eyeing you suspiciously and you see past his shoulder walking down the road here 
you see a a female human in probably like her late 30s early 40s uh walking down the road with uh wester towards towards your whole little group wester wester I have my duck you, on my head, right? Yes, you <laughs> you still have the duck tied to your head. You have both of the bowls on one on the right, one on the left. Of his chest. No. <laughs> no, they're strapped to your belt, basically. Good idea, though. <laughs> oh, I can't even move my character. Oh, is that why you didn't move him up? Get F. Yeah. There you go. Should be able to move. So, uh, as you see those two approaching, uh, Wester kind of he's he's just looking at the group. Like he turns, talks to, says something to the lady next to him, and then looks down the road at your group that's assembled, and. You can you see him basically like uh just stop for a second uh like swallow the spit in his throat and he's just like they're back. <laughs> <laughs> like you you just you you don't hear him say it but <laughs> his expression tells all. Yeah. You just see it he kind of like he pales a little bit and he's just like no, they're back. Does he like, like move out of the way at all? The guard? Yeah. No, he's still he's still standing in front of you. Oh damn! And, <laughs> he's just gonna walk on past him. <laughs> well, as, as the uh, wait, who's Wester again? The Danny DeVito. Okay, got you. Shut up, Chris. That's why I didn't remember his name because I keep calling him Danny DeVito. <laughs> So him and the uh, captain, they kind of slowly make their way up to you. And the captain looks at the guard and just looks at the five guards that are assembled there and the group that's and your group. And she's just like, are, are we having trouble here? The guard turns and gives her a, a quick salute and he's just like just trying to figure out what they're doing here ma'am wester is wester i'm just i'm staring down wester <laughs> yuri's just in the back with his hood up just rubbing his eyes because he wants his beer <laughs> uh mike make intimidation roll <laughs> okay <laughs> all right hold on Intimidate you with the duck on his head. <laughs> <laughs> just cross <-eyed. laughs> I just see Mike look at kind of like for a moment, just cross-eyed, uh, wiggly lip, giving him the wiggly eyebrows and everything. <laughs> I'm gonna use a. I'm I, I'm using a luck die. Okay, using a luck die on it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Natural twenty. <laughs> what Wester kind of like? He he takes a step back and he doesn't like hide around the commander but he can, he kind of just takes a small step behind her trying to put like trying to put her and her in between you and himself and he's just like the the uh uh the, the they're the they're the people that have ki kind of I use the word lightly. They've been helping us with some problems. <laughs> and then I stop. I here. stop glaring at him after he says that. He he also does say it with quotation marks. <laughs> They've been helping, and she just she kind of like looks back as he goes as he's going, like moving behind her. <laughs> and she's just like 
He looks back at you before you stop doing that. And she's just a few times back and forth, just looking. And as he says, helps, she kind of realizes, okay, these are the people that have been a bit of a problem around here. It's just a door. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. What? You've been having issues with people around here here can't control the orc population and a bunch of ragtag adventurers have done your fucking job for you and you're gonna look at us like you have a problem <laughs> yuri walks her shoulder and is like it looks at the captain is like look we've had a long couple of days i'd like to go pay, pay my respects to my friend's grave and then drink and we just carry this conversation on elsewhere. Is he breaking up for anybody else? No. no. I heard him. <sighs> I think I heard like every second or third word. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yes. So long story short, I put my hand on Thea's shoulder to calm her down, looked at the captain, said, Can we, you know, move this along? Because I want to go visit my friend's grave and go get something to drink. In the less RP terms, there you go. And as Yuri says that, I start walking. <laughs> <laughs> how how quickly are you walking, Mike? Oh, I'm just at a normal pace. I, I like I'm going to go sell these weapons kind of pace. Fuck this shit, I'm out. The captain mm -hmm. looks yeah. at Yuri. And she kind of just smiles because she recognizes the voice. And she's just like, come in. You can come in, rest. But we will keep an eye on you. What did you do? Rubs his eyes and shrugs. It's like, whatever. And just continues down towards the 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 hilltop over yonder. Uh, I just shrug and keep going. I walk past Danny DeVito uh, what the fuck? and I I pop my my brand new uh, chainmail in front of his face. This is proof that Big Al is still alive, and all the orcs are dead. So uh, we'll expect our payment a little later. We'll let you finish up with the good old captain, though, first, right? Okay. Blink stops. Are you using your other armor? No. Do you need it? Yes, I do. Uh, we'll we'll take care of this when we're not in front of all this audience, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. I keep walking. Apparently, the old dwarf has wandered off. <laughs> <laughs> not with him. <laughs> At the beginning, he's just gone. Twinkle Toes is obviously standing around like he's stoned. Because he probably is. Leave the leave the part alone. It's actually on right foot. I just got nothing to do. I'm just wandering in. So you all So the four of you, Yuri, Twig, Thea, and Falkland, all walk into the center of town and then kind of just split up in your own ways. And Fargon, who you noticed disappeared while you were talking. And nobody really noticed him go away, but he just casually walked down the side. He walked down somebody's driveway and came in through the side of the town by the hill. <laughs> what, were the, what were we calling that hill? Like Fort Awesome or some bullshit? What did Josh name Fort it? Fort Kick-Ass. Fort Kick-Ass, that's kick -ass. right.
Um, <clears throat> so I pull this chain armor out of my bag and I pass it to Twig. I I kind of like grab it and it's super heavy, so I'm just like, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. So remove the chain mail. It has uh, AC 16, strength 13, so... Alright, I'll have to I... add it. How do I take it out? Um, click on it, and there should be a remove option. Uh, there okay. we go. Oh, you get a stealth disadvantage. Okay, interesting. Yeah, except my, my new one doesn't do the disadvantage. It's great. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay. And I uh, go to the go to the inn. Give him... at the store. So Thea's heading to the inn. What is Fargon, what are you doing? Chase. Jace, are you muted? Okay, Falkland, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, is there any new stuff at the like the store that Mike's at? Not really. There haven't really been any Very shipments in. More frequently. Uh, by, the, by the way, out of character, real fast. Uh, does anybody... Can anybody use medium armor? I uh -huh. I mean, I definitely have the lowest AC. Like, can you use medium armor, though? I uh, can. Do you want my chain shirt? Do uh, I have a chain shirt? I guess not. I think I do. No, you've got before hide. I, before I sell it, I'm just, I am just just want to make sure. Oh, I thought I bought a chain again. I guess I didn't then. I'll, I'll keep it then. Okay. Go ahead, Falkland. Whatever you're doing. I don't really know what I'm doing. I guess I'll just go to the end and just wait. Be right back. One alcohol, please. Oh, yeah, it is. And I'll say, Okay, I'm back. He's back. Okay. Hi. So, Falkland, you're going to the inn? Yes, I ordered one alcohol. All right. Uh, Fargon, what are you doing? Oh, is there anything stocked in the shop before I go in there and ask? No. Can no. Waste time? <laughs> okay. No, there's some sort of embargo to this town or some shit. <laughs> well, there's still yeah. threat of the orcs. Orcs and dragons, man. I'm just going to sit in the bar for a bit. Then move. All right. Uh, Yuri, what are you doing? Paying respects to the memorial site. How long are you doing that? <laughs> eh, a few minutes. And then once I do my thing, I'm going to make my way back to the, the fuck shack. 
Baby fuck shack. All right, so Mike, you can go sell the ship. Back. Okay, so you walk into the shop with a duck on my head, of course. As as you go to walk in, the uh, <laughs> the duck hits against the uh, top of the doorway. Oh shit. I quickly check it to see if it's okay. <laughs> uh, make a... Just roll d d20. Oh no. <laughs> roll a d d20, see if it's okay. Don't you, don't you dare. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. There's no damage to it. it. It's like a little scuffed on the beak, but that's it. Oh, okay, that's fine. Don't worry, ducky. Scars are cool. Uh, it's not really scarred. It's just like if you rub at it and it just it uh, rubs off. It's basically like you just like tapped it against the wood. Okay. <laughs> but it's it's com it's completely fine. I walk up to the counter as confidently as I can. <laughs> uh, fuck. What was her name again? Uh, who cares? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Continuity, Mike. Continuity. All right. Uh, I might have it written down. Hold on. Uh, Darwin. And then Greywind. Greywind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She sees you, uh, try and walk in with a duck on your head, and when it hits, and you kind of like. Stop and take a step back, and she just sees your head go back, and you and she sees you reach up and like rub the duck's bill, and then kind of like duck down a little bit and take a few steps forward <laughs> to get to get it under the door, and she's just standing there like, I sold weapons to this guy <laughs> and armor. But. Confidently walks up. Good evening. Wait, it's evening. Uh, it's it's like midday. Oh no, no, it is evening because I think you walked the whole the rest of the way after yeah. the last rest. So yeah, it's probably around like six, seven o'clock at night. Yeah. yeah. Good evening. Are you interested in some wares? I have wares. You have Wait, cars. we're gonna have to retcon this. How did you oh. walk in with the freaking spears and great axes? I dropped them <laughs> when I hit my head. <laughs> <laughs> so you just you hit your head and you just dropped them right then and reached for the duck. And I just kind of like scramble everything up and then confidently walk back. They're still in. they're still wrapped. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like, you, you just kind of like you you ducked under the door to get the duck in, and then you just reached back and turned the package sideways and just pulled it inside. Yeah, and I just kind of I kind of plop it on the counter. So she's just looking at you like she looks at you, and then at the weapons. Where'd you get all these? Uh, you know, killed some orcs. Saved the farm. Whose farm? What's the, what's the farm? I, I, I keep forgetting. Big Al's farm, I don't know. Big Al's farm. <laughs> oh. You went up to Butter Skull. Yeah, that's the place. Infested with orcs, got loads of them. Well, Laid them out. As you're saying that, she kind of like she looks up at your duck, and kind of like inspects it. So, if you had such a big battle with the orcs. 
What? Why is your duck not hurt? <laughs> well, he was safely tucked away at the time. Hmm. Can't be too careful nowadays, you know? Gotta watch your kids. <clears throat> she kind of just, like, she looks at you and then she just kind of steps back a little bit. Because <laughs> she doesn't want their, you're crazy to rub off on her. I just kind of raise my eyebrow. <laughs> Wiggly eyebrows. I'm just sitting, sitting How much, the door uh... and watching this. What was that, Chase? I'm standing at the doorway and watching this exchange now. Wondering if I should just come back later. Mm -hmm. So, she, she doesn't notice you at the at the doorway looking. They're just watching this whole interaction go on. She just keeps her attention focused on the crazy guy in front of her. <laughs> and she's just like, so, uh... I'm guessing you'll want to sell? Yep. And to get a good price? I kind of smile. <laughs> Make a... Persuasion check. Eh, not bad. Encrusted <laughs> teeth. <laughs> the one's missing from all the beatings I've gotten. So you just you 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 say it with a smile, and she she kind of like half heartedly returns your smile, and she's just like, "Let me uh, let me see, and let me see what we can do." He steps back up to the counter, and you uh, you undo the bundle. So they kind of they kind of like shift a little bit and like splay out over the counter a tiny bit. But she goes and <laughs> fucking damn it, Chase. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, he... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Know, Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so she goes and she picks up one of the spears. And she notices, like, the... Well, while just giving, like, all of them a cursory glance, the haft of... The spears and the great axes are very, they're very rough. Like they, because they, they've been used a lot and everything. Yeah, I didn't expect to get much out of them. And the, you can see, like, when she goes and inspects the blades on basically all of them, they are not well taken care of. They're chipped. Uh, one of the great axes, part of the bottom of the blade is just. Like, it looks like it just got busted off. Yeah, and these are, like, the best conditioned ones I could pick out. I cast yeah. Mending on my spears. <laughs> on all seven of you're, them. You're standing in the doorway. Oh. She sees this. <laughs> she sees you Oh, she's looking at me. Yeah, now she notices. Well, yeah, because there's a freaking light. As he's going casting it. My seven javelins. To put it into better condition. At least the best they can be. Nice. I look back. Huh. Probably should have done that first. Yeah. <laughs> she looks over your shoulder and sees him doing this. As he's standing in the doorway. Just. It, it's a soft glow of light. From like his hand. As he like touches each of the spears, and they kind of they they don't get fully smooth, but they get into a little bit better of a condition than what you're already selling her. I, I see that happening, and I pick all the weapons up in my hands, and I just walk to the door. Hey, I just 
I just looked down at my weapons. She calls after you. I'm not giving you a better price. No, I walk back. <laughs> the same goes well, for you, no short mending, though. Then. Uh, so she says, Spears, I'll give you 50 silver. Great X, five gold. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So I got two, two axes and five javelins. I meant five gold for the pair. <coughs> okay. I see. Rip. And you said 50 silver each? Yeah, for the spears. Okay. Those two great axes, five spears? Yep. Well, javelins, but yeah. And javelins. Yes. Then I, I look at my chain shirt. Hey. <laughs> Far gone. Hey. Want this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> can you even use it? Yeah, I can use medium. That's why I chose my class this way. So I can use medium armor. I am dwarf. And you You're pick small. people. I, I give him the chain shirt after he's done. Mending his stuff. Yeah. Hooray, hand me downs. It is a bit big on you. <laughs> because because it's made for a human, so it, it's like it's uh it's kind of it's not dragging on the ground. But for him, it's basically going all the way down, like, past his knees. Eh, you just stuff it in his pants. Doesn't he wear robes anyway, so it's like... Yeah, just a chain robe now. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting, though. <clears throat> Here, you have the hide. Should be in perfect condition. Yeah, just sell it to her. All right. Jed, you added that, right? I just added mine, yeah. Okay. I will remove mine. Okay. There we go. Oh my god, that put me up to 14. Nice. And then I, I just call out, thanks, and I leave. All right, so... All right. You waddle your way up to the counter. Oh, your well. eyes are barely coming over the top of it. Hello. Good day we're having, aren't we? I got... She seven. just looks at you and she's like, I'm giving you the same price that he that I gave him. Yeah, sure. I got him from off dead orcs anyways. So, how many do you have? Seven. Seven javelins? Seven holy javelins. Seven javelins, so that'll be 50 silver each. Understood. And then are you going to sell your hide armor, or what? I would also like to sell my hide armor. She kind of, she picks it up and specs it a bit. Six gold. All right. There you go. The she hands over the six gold. You and takes the hide armor and puts it on one of the dummies in the shop. And she's taking. Do you taken... ever need any mending services? You know, I'm in town. I'm 
be glad to help. I'll let you know. All right. Have a good day. Goodbye. Goodbye. So you quickly like walk out of the building. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Yeah. Waddle, <laughs> waddle, waddle <laughs> slash walk. Sounds. <laughs> More as you're walking, which is oh. all the chain rattling. Time to get drunk. And, and as you guys are kind of like, as you've been moving around the town and stuff, you see there, there has been a in the center of or near the center of the town square here. There's oh. been about five or six guards just watching you and you can see kind of like dotted around the perimeter of the of like this wall there's just patrols of guards with a few just stationed around and some up here on the high ground what the hell you have the high ground done again my god we can't do anything about those guys yeah. They have the, the high ground. You're sneaky long enough. Altogether, from what you can see and all the tents that you saw, you kind of like you estimate around thirty-five to forty guards around the town. Impressive. I'm surprised this town can afford that. Must have a good lord. <clears throat> Well, Good Lord Wester sent for help. Like he he sent a raven to Neverwinter to ask for help with the orc problem, possibly the dragon. So he, he doesn't know fully what's going on. Okay, I I go and pay my respects. Uh, after I was done, by the way. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Yuri, have you gone back into saloon yet? Yeah, I'm making my way back to the the place, place, place. I imagine he like passes me on the way. Yeah. Ben, is this like an open place right here? Yeah. Yeah, just oh. Everywhere there's not a building, it's just like, it's kind of just an open area with, like, a backyard and stuff. Uh, before Yuri came back, I went out here, prayed to the moon goddess. Alright. So he just knelt down with, because the sun is getting... It's pretty low in the sky because it is around 7.30-ish that so you guys, now that you're back in town, that so you can see the moon has already risen, but not shining. If, if... So... Anything else? Anybody? Uh, I just make my way back when I'm done. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna start playing my loot in here, just to keep entertained, I guess, and everybody else entertained. <laughs> Is that why Tits left the bar? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> You she's pulled out your be. loot and started playing, and she's just like, yeah, fuck performance this. Performance check. Do a performance check. Performance check. Uh, you guys are going to like this. <laughs> Good. Natural what? Oh, damn. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Real close. Sorry, it's out of tune. <laughs> oh, excuse me, yeah. I haven't played it in a while, but... <clears throat> Yeah, it, it's not a great song. You don't really impress. Like, there are a couple of guards just sitting in the in like the back corner 
along with to one of the guards uh you got any any requests i i do take requests they both just look at you like who the fuck are you (laughs) they don't say anything they're just sitting there and they just like they were just kind of like talking to each other quietly as you guys had been sitting in the bar before (laughs) and then when you said something they just looked up and they both looked at you like Basically, like, fuck off. They just didn't want to say it. Damn. Think about how we killed those orcs. And saved the ranch without any guard's help. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. Ah, men of quality. <laughs> oh, I got nothing. Oh, valley of plenty. So it's getting around 8.30. The sun has fully gone down now. And you all are just sitting in the bar drinking. Yes. I'm guessing. Anybody up for cards? Sure. I, I heard this game called Gwent. Wait a minute. I don't have cards. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> I do. Oh, wait, Mike, did you sell yours? Mike, did you add the second wooden duck bowl to your inventory? I have, I have plenty. Uh, did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I was just looking through to see if you had cards, and I noticed that. I'm like, wait. No, I don't have cards. Thought I did. I think I we're did. doing the other game we did. Oh, yeah, probably. Dang, I should have picked the the cards up from the uh the ranch when we were there. Oh well. Whoops. Missed opportunity. Does anybody have cards? Nope. I ask out loud. I just have more instruments. Yes, and Thea has her hands over her ears while the bard still performs badly indoors. I'm not performing currently. You were. It, it was just that bad. Permanent damage. You could hear it outside. <laughs> yeah. You you were. It was one of those. Your uh, loot is a bit out of tune. So it was making. It was kind of making high pitched noises a little bit. And she heard it out the door. Just even, even trying to just get as. A good ways away so that she could pray. She still heard it. Good. Your loop sounds like a banshee. I think it sounds good. <laughs> it's just out of tune, so I can try again. You, you, you hear play another when, one. When you hear when Twig says, I think it <laughs> I think it sounds good. You just hear from the back corner. I think you need to get your ears checked. Hey, fuck you, pal. Are you going to perform again? Yeah. You know what? Let's hope I do better this time. <laughs> Has something to prove. I don't think you can get much worse. I definitely could. Ooh. Yeah, nice. This is where he plays through the fire and flames. <laughs> It sounds better. It, it's sure not. It, it's, expert. <laughs> it's not quite like what people are used to around here, but it's it sounds better. You actually are keeping rhythm. You're keeping harmony. In the room, we're such high music aficionados. <laughs> hey, I've always said it sounded good. So <laughs> you've always been there for me. We dwarves like rock and metal. <laughs> Not some metal. As in, we bang rocks and metal together until they make a good sound. Excellent. So it's getting to be like nine thirty. Everybody's still drinking. The bard is still. It, it's getting. It's progressively getting. Like it. 
got to a high point there, but then your music just started getting worse the more you were drinking. <laughs> I'm not drinking that much. Just I only had the one. You only had one? Yeah, just the one alcohol. One whole alcohol. Please. Yeah, just one alcohol. Okay, then how, how much is everybody drinking at the bar? I call, I call out to Yuri to have a drinking contest. <laughs> Looks All right. over at him and just glares. Are you going to accept it? Is that a no? <laughs> you... Shakes his head slowly. <laughs> Do you have a drinking contest with yourself? No. <laughs> I, get, I get disappointed. <laughs> You get disappointed, you just kind of get, like, quiet for the rest of the evening. How much time has passed? It's been, like, two hours that you've been out there. Hooray to the booty, Jesus. The mosquitoes are biting now. <laughs> no, it's like fall. The mosquitoes bite your nipple? The fall mosquitoes are biting now. <laughs> and they're bigger. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking turkey flat-footed. <laughs> so, 9.30, 10.30 rolls around, 11.30 rolls around, midnight rolls around. Are you all <laughs> sitting there drinking, or is anybody going to bed? And I have sauntered back in, in all my glory. <clears throat> Counting that, that's been four hours, right? Yeah, that's been like over four hours. Yeah, counting were that you as a short rest? Okay, you were just meditating out there. Yeah, in tune, praying. I'm glowing <laughs> with a a new radiance, amazingness. Yes, radiance, glowing with a. Radiance of praying to the uh, moon goddess. Titties are extra perky. <laughs> they're they're sticking out through your fucking chainmail. <laughs> it's because it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold, and you don't have an un you don't have an undershirt on. It's gonna hurt later. <laughs> oh boy. Just scoot up to sit at the bar and uh, get some water. Some wawa. Yep. Okay. It takes Don't a minute because he has to go out back to the well and get water. And then he comes back, hands you water. It's like, we don't get many people ordering water here, but okay. Gives you a tankard of it. Somebody's got to get these boys to bed. Well, I guess yeah. if you're going to take that responsibility, at least you're being somewhat responsible. Well, yeah, after my companion who disappeared trashed your place, I kind of owe it to you. To make sure none of them destroy it anymore. Well, at least you he repaired it decent, fairly decently. Only because I made him. Yeah. Which is I'm probably why he left. By his craftsmanship. He might have hidden talent somewhere in that. Yeah, who knows? He might be a quest giver at some point. It's because he was drunk, guys. Come on. <clears throat> he was Greg. That's true. He was a Greg. Only was Greg more often. <laughs> so I miss that crazy motherfucker. So y'all are just talking, drinking, kind of relaxing yeah. at the bar. Twelve thirty. One o'clock. I start heading to bed. One thirty. Doesn't trust the guards, goes to bed. Keeps a soft snooze. 
2 a.m. 2.30. 3 a.m. I should probably head up to bed and meditate. Oh, oh I'm reading my book. <laughs> oh, where did the time go? So around. I go over to the guards and make small talk while they're <clears throat> trying really hard not to fall asleep in their corner. Well, at about midnight, they actually got up and left oh, to go and oh. do a patrol. And then they headed off to their camp because they, their shift is done. <clears throat> Does anybody else pop up? I summon There's... my bat familiar and have it perch in, on the ceiling in right this area to keep an eye on things. There are two guards basically like they're kind of outside the uh, outside the inn there. Just like standing right outside right near the <laughs> corner. Yeah. If I left would they follow? Maybe. I go into the kitchens and I make them food. The the innkeeper is still there and as you make your way around towards the kitchen door, he's just like, what are you doing? Making the guards food. I'll pay for it. Why? Because they're hungry. That, not that kind of hungry. Though. Well, you don't know uh, that. They're hungry like the uh, wolves. <laughs> <laughs> Look, mister, the, as long as you keep off the leg, it's okay. Because they're hungry, of course. No, I was making a... Never mind. The joke fell short. Oh, I got it. <laughs> the joke hit Fargon in the face. <laughs> <laughs> like a mighty fart. <laughs> Do you have a problem? You're the one who called him here. Oh, wait, no, that was the other. I didn't call shit. Why are they here then? I don't know. Go talk to Wester. He's the one who sent a raven for him. That's what he told me. What else did he tell you? Just that. And to be nice. Be nice to who? At this point, the guy's I don't like, like your tone, lady. The, the guy's like kind of just shrugging, like the guards. Why would you have to be nice to the guards? They either pay you or they don't. Well, it's be fucking courteous. You're like the only place in town that has food and drink. Okay. My bat's just hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> Watching this. He, oh, he kind of just, he starts like rubbing at his eye because it's, it's fucking 3 a.m. Go to, go to bed, you tired little man. I am bed. <laughs> <laughs> She's an elf. Everybody's little compared to her. Yeah. How well, tall like, are you? I'm like, I don't even elf. remember. Elves are pretty tall. I think I'm a short elf, though. You're like 5'6. Yeah, I'm That's taller than you. Get wrecked. <laughs> I am a short elf. I have a big personality. Shut up. That's not all that you have, big. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> and I kind of figured it was going to be Chris to say it. <laughs> um, yes, you, you can go to bed. I will be fine out here. I have this book and this incense, and I won't raid your kitchen in the middle of the night. Nope, not me. Mm -mm. Well, I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to lock the kitchen. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> 
That's how he closes up shop. He locks the kitchen from the kitchen door on the inside, and he locks the one on the back door. Can't you just leave it kind of unlocked? No. Why? Because I've had people come in and steal shit before. Well, but I'm awake, and I'm hungry, and you're tired, so just leave it unlocked. And I still don't trust you. Why not? Because, because one of your friends turned into a fucking manicure in the middle of my goddamn bar. That was not my friend. That's just somebody he I... was with your group. No, I... <sighs> I'm not with them. <laughs> you hear from upstairs. <laughs> me, you just me hear from and upstairs. The small one, I'm not with them. Me and the small one, we were not part of that group. I, we just. We needed coin too. Vargon doesn't even like any of us. The part's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> you hear a snore and you just hear the bar is okay. <laughs> it's just it's off in the distance. Look, can I just have a loaf of bread and some meat and cheese? Thank you. <laughs> and then you can go to bed. Okay. He go he goes into the back, gets he gets half a loaf of bread and a block of cheese and uh, some. Like, some pork, like some sliced pork, sliced ham. Puts it on a plate, brings it out, and sets it in front of you. Some cured pork. Ooh. Thanks. Have a good night. You too. He, go, he goes back in the kitchen, shuts the door, locks it. You hear him walk through the kitchen to the other door and shut that one too. And then it's just, it's quiet again. As I slice my bread, that asshole. I wanted to make eggs and grits and hash browns. You stupid innkeeper asshole. <laughs> I'm a petulant fucking child. (laughs) (laughs) I'm expecting you to just stand up, put your hand in your pocket, and just kick at the ground. (laughs) I stand up, and I slide my hands into my pocket, and I kick at the ground, and then I continue to eat my dinner at 3 o'clock in the morning. So it's. Mm-hmm. I'm in touch with my old friend. So after a long rest, basically about eight eight hours or so of rest, everybody starts waking up around like eleven o'clock the next day. Oh, ducks! Jeez. <sighs> Uh, Twig is basically kind of curled up around around the duck, <laughs> like half duck. fetal position. <laughs> and as Fargon gets up and walks by, the floor creaks. <laughs> All you hear from the other side of the door is ducks. <laughs> and it and just, boy and Twig, Twig just sits upright, and is just kind of like looking around. <laughs> Uh, like scratch my head and rub my eyes. Yeah. Good morning. I love you tomorrow. Want to see something funny? <laughs> <laughs> Want to see a magic trick? See this the stool right here? I, I move it to over here by here by the table, and I cast illusion for I meant an illusion of a stool right in that spot. Uh oh! <laughs> God damn it! Alright, I just learned this one. <laughs> so, what's... Who all is away? Who all is moving? You're either I'm making my way down the stairs. 
Well, hello, Twig. Why don't you take a seat, particularly right in there? It's very warm. <laughs> fresh, uh, fresh stool. I, I look around. Ro Hold on. <laughs> Roll for deception. That's like, oh. No, I have God, he's being nice reason. to me. I need a cold chair. Uh, uh, Mike, I, roll against roll? that. Yeah, roll against oh, that God. with uh, perception. Oh, well, it's a 10. <laughs> <laughs> Cleaned 10. up the stool for you. It's just nice and polished. School is, uh, that stool dude, is now. Good luck for you. Do you fall now for it? <laughs> yeah, why not? Just, he, you do fall for it. But yeah. are you gonna go and walk up to that stool? Yeah, no. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna sit <laughs> this one. <laughs> I was like, okay. I said that. <laughs> you you just see him over there. Just he kind of throws his head down a little bit. Yeah. So after about what five minutes. Falkland, you come walking down the stairs. Uh, yeah. Good morning, everyone. How'd you guys sleep? <sighs> Pretty well. I dreamt about Other ducks again. Mumbling at three, <laughs> really early in the morning downstairs for like an hour. Pretty good. Oh boy. Three. Oh boy. Hold on. What is illusion? Are you... It's already gone. It's already gone? Okay. It just vanishes. I look over. I, the... I was wondering well, that was if... Weird. It... Must have been the dragon in the area. Okay. Okay. Dragon? I'm, I'm going to ask this. Did you go and cast illusion on... Cast an illusion there and throw another illusion on the one that you moved? So that it was invisible at the other table. Uh, can I? Can I? That turn invisible? I'm willing to allow it for this one instance. I really hid that chair really well over there by that table. So as Yuri goes and sits down at the table, just out of nowhere, they just a stool pops into existence across from across the table from him. Do you have a reaction? Chris, are you dead inside? Totally dead. No, just kinda of shrugs it off. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the stool is now salad sitting right over here. Stool. So at a at about seven seven thirty eight o'clock, the barkeep did unlock the kitchen and come back. He was kind of just standing there, kind of uh, polished, wiping at the uh, counter, cleaning the counter and everything, going around cleaning the tables and all that. <clears throat> I get some breakfast if I can. Okay. He goes in the back, makes some eggs and bacon and usual breakfast fare. Oh, yeah. Did anybody else want? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so everybody orders a breakfast from him. Yeah. Can't oh, massacre oh, a bunch it's... of guards on an empty stomach, right? Yeah, exactly. What was that? Hmm? Huh? 
Why, yes, the, yes, we would like some breakfast. So he goes and brings out five breakfast breakfast platters to everybody, or one breakfast platter to everybody. The so five in total. Uh, one breakfast. More, please. <laughs> so every, everybody noms on that for half hour. Tosses a coin to my barkeep. My favorite barkeep. Well, he he does tell you it will cost you a gold. Yeah, so I'm tossing him a coin. Yeah. Me too. I throw it at him. <laughs> oh, Make a strength check. Uh oh. <laughs> oh jeez. Dude, this is how you kill someone. <laughs> if it's a nat twenty. Okay, as I said, we're not gonna have one of those nat twenty stories. <laughs> actually, uh, actually kills them. here's uh, the other thing. Uh dexterity. Make it make a dexterity roll also. Okay. I mean, I just, I say heads up before I throw it. <laughs> As you go and you go and pull your arm back and you say, hey, heads up. And he looks right at you <laughs> as you were going to throw it. You go and you get to like right before you're going to release. He ducks and kind of like cowers and you yeah. just stop. And then, then you kind of just like flick your wrist and hit him in the, hit him in the side with the coin. It's like you're no fun. Looks like the he bully reaches like over, came out today. Gra grabs the, uh, <laughs> grabs the coin, and just pockets it. Hey, you gotta remember, Twig doesn't know proper manners. He's emulating the bullying the orcs did to him. <laughs> Acting out. So what do you guys want to do? We should collect, we should collect our reward. Yeah. Yeah, we should probably do that. <laughs> Meanwhile... <clears throat> I have finished stuffing my face and I'm like just nonchalantly like walking out of the bar after of course I leave two coins of gold. Saying uh, nothing to no one. Everybody make a perception roll for it. Other than pets. Damn. Did I see anything? <laughs> you saw I think everything. Everybody saw me. <laughs> everybody noticed Thea walking out of the bar. Bye. Like, Thea was just trying to be like all nonchalant, just kind of like got up and just slowly walked out. Everybody just kind of like looked, looked out the corner of their eye towards her as she walked out, and it's like, okay. Yeah, except for Twinkle Toes at twenty five, let him see the whole. He he just stared. The <laughs> whole picture, <laughs> the sachet and everything. As you stood up, he kind of just turned in his seat as you were walking by. <laughs> I see it all. Just not not even trying to be stealthy about it. Just a full stare. Stares at her ass as she waddles out the room in her fancy fancy paint armor that's poking her nipple are poking through. Basically. Yeah. Jesus Christ, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also I haven't stopped, so I've gone to Wester's house. We Wester. Is anybody else gonna go and just follow her over there? Or is everybody just staying in the bar? Mm, I was there when we accepted it. Uh, same objective. Hey. 
So so while she goes and actually takes the roads and like gets over to there, you just quickly cut through cut through the backyards and stuff. As she is getting to about here, she sees you just just kind of like just kind of uh quickly not like jogging well not like yeah kind of like a jog jog uh slow walk parkour or quick while he's trying not to trip over his chain dress yeah (laughs) but he gets there as he gets there he's like (laughs) just kind of kind of heavily breathing (laughs) Not that heavy breathing. Take a take a breath, my my little friend. He he takes the breath and he just he's holding it. You can you can release it. <clears throat> All at once. <laughs> it sounds like a fucking uh, balloon just deflating. Wow, what the heck? <laughs> um, you order that. I, um, so I knock on Wester's door. Okay. This time. Hey, the guy, other guys aren't here. They're not going to stab your door. Also, this time he, he goes and he door. actually opens, he opens the door. You, uh, and greets you. Did that one guy recover all right? He, yes, yes, he, he he's actually recovered fairly well. Good, good. Did you send him back to Big Al's uh, ranch? No, no, he, uh, well, well, he's, he's not fully recovered. He, he's, he's, uh, He's still covering, so one of the other farmers, he's he's helping one of the other farmers in town just so he can stay close. He he okay. kinda he doesn't he doesn't wanna go back there until oh, so the whole orc he's thing is deal gotcha. is dealt with. Well we oh. dealt with it. You he his words. He, he doesn't. He doesn't want to go back until he knows for sure that uh, all of all of the orc clans that are around are gone. How many oh. clans were there? <laughs> How many clans uh, are you talking? From what the commander told me, there is at least four. Oh, I guess it's a good thing they sent the other guards up. Yeah, we only wiped out them. maybe one of them. That's why Big Al gave me this very lovely chain mail shirt that jacket. he almost died. Kind of like yeah. he looks at uh, the mithril chain mail that you have on, and he's like, "The wait, what the... I forget what the fuck Big Al was." Was a uh, was some the fuck was that? That was me playing with this. Never mind. Anyway, he's playing with the rocks again. Mm-hmm. Hey, are you getting your rocks off again? Yes. I dropped my marbles. I never had marbles. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, he was. Fuck. Hold on one He's second. some kind of swordsman. Use that that bastard sword like a pro. A uh, uh, a sheriff wouldn't give up that very easily. Um, no, no, he what? Wait, he's the sheriff. He 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 was a sheriff. He's kind of retired. I see. He used to be, he used to be one of the, be the sheriff for a town, a bit to the, to the uh, east called uh, Tribor. 
Well, he's in good health physically. We made sure of that before we left. Oh, I'm sure you did. That was, that was very under his breath that he says that. <laughs> Mostly directed at Thea. Did you say something? No. No, I didn't. So, so you about sure? payment. Yeah. Uh, how 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 many orcs were there? Twenty four. Hundreds. It's not thousands. Make a deception roll, Chase. <laughs> You got this. Aww. I I don't believe there are that many. By by the tone of your voice, I don't believe there are that many. How many were there oh, actually? Fifty. Let me try to recount. I was just off the top of my head. Guesstimate. God. Wasn't there like twenty-ish? There, there was eighteen. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure there was at least 50 of them. <laughs> I turn this guy into Ash, turn that guy into Ash. Try to get that guy to slip down the stairs. He wasn't having it. Got pissed, turned him to Ash. Uh... There was 18. Ambush. Yeah, 18. Oh, okay. <laughs> he he, uh, he uh, stands there for a minute, kind of calculating in his head. Do next next time? Do you want all the ears or something? To make this easier. <laughs> yeah, probably would be, be a easier. little messy. He said he wanted proof. Uh, that he wanted proof. Oh, all, all together. He said fifty gold with proof. All, all together. The the chain mail's proof and proof enough. So I I would I would say. Uh, there was a guard he, troop heading up there too, and they should be able to confirm it. Yes, they when they they, get back. they will they they will be able to help confirm it. I I would they'll send a raven here soon, but because of he hmm, he goes and he he just says one moment please, and shuts the door. He Wait. Has... What does he need? An Atticus to calculate this? No, he's going to get the gold. He doesn't have your payment on hand there. Remember? There was the chest in the basement after those two idiots broke in. I wasn't there. I hey, I didn't break in. Moment of that. <laughs> you didn't break in. You just followed I, I, Gorg I and I was Coughlin. just going in with them, you know? Going with the flow. Innocent bystander. Yeah, so he he closes he closes the door. He doesn't slam it in your face. He just closes it and goes to his, to the uh, town chest. It's a good thing Twig's not here. He'd probably be stabbing the door by now for some weird reason. You see me walking down the street. Do you, he, no, I'm kidding. Do you I'm, kidding. <laughs> do you, I'm kidding. Do you, do you think he'll? Uh, mm. I think I could persuade him to give us a go head. Maybe we gave quality care to the dude, healed him up and everything, rescued him from torture. After about three or four minutes, you hear him walking back up to the door. And he goes and he opens the door. And he holds out. It's like it is a bag, basically filled with gold. 
and he hands it out. To, he holds it out to you, and he says, "There's a uh, hundred gold pieces in there." Oh, for for I... for making sure Al is safe. Oh, yep. You're you're welcome. I mean, um, yeah. I will take that. Thank you. Um, nice doing business with you. Sorry for the uh, dirty look that Twig gave you yesterday. Um, uh, uh, just, just uh, please keep keep him away. I would try I, to avoid him. He's where he he's going. He's getting a little look crazier. Just he's mention dragons, and he head. should run away. It'll be all right. Oh, you, hear, you hear in the distance dragons dragons <laughs> <laughs> it's see, not... see what I mean if he yeah. ever acts up just threaten his duck I swear to Christ if the dragon shows up in this town while we're here this next go around I'm gonna cry <laughs> well Twig's gonna run away so I'm gonna do some Skyrim mess shit and die <laughs> All right. So, well, uh, pleasure doing business with you, um, Mr. Wester. Be sure to tell the farmhand that he's good to go back now. Uh, I will let him know. Thank you. <laughs> Have a I good day. Shove the gold bag into my cleavage, and <laughs> I. Return to the inn, passing through the uh, yard, which seems to be a shorter distance. I walk on the path in my arm a little okay. bit, because I'm not a heathen. Here, here, here's the thing. It's it's not a small bag of gold. Like, yeah. It's it's pretty <laughs> big. So basically, it's like, there's a few pieces going uh, in the bottom of the bag that are Dip down into your cleavage, but most of the bag is just resting on top of your tits. <laughs> that works for me. Hey, look, shelves. Sometimes you just gotta show off, you know? Yuri is working on the broken bow, trying to figure it out. Love you, buddy. Good night. Go to bed, heathen. Love you. Chase, do you have all this shit just fucking queued up? No, I'm just, I just search really fast. Who's leaving? Nobody. No, I was telling my crotch we demon to, to go to bag. bag. We need to get you a bag of carrying, and you can just hold that in your purse, so you can just shove giant <laughs> objects into the bag of carrying through the boo bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone can just give you questioning looks when you pull out a sword or something. <laughs> that would be awesome. Hold like, on. Time to clean up this joint. <laughs> wasn't, <up> that, <laughs> wasn't that in a freaking... I, I swear I saw that in some uh, cartoon episode where it's just... She's pulling pulling just random shit out of her fucking cleavage. Oh, I bet. I bet it is. It's just one after the other and it's like... Mm. It's like a fucking clown car of just, oh, just random bullshit. Go to bed. I love you. So you guys head back to the bar. Good news, yes. everyone. Okay, Doctor Farnsworth. I just like march in with my third boob. <laughs> as you're, as you're walking onto like the small porch that's there. Got it's just it. they outside from inside all they hear is coin shaking <laughs> as you're walking just <laughs> the, the guard's reaction from the door ignores and just keeps working on his broken bow there, there aren't any guards there right now they've oh, kind of like during the day they'll mostly just be patrolling around the town oh, this makes you patrolling the lobby also. I wonder how many how many guards attention I got with my third third coin titty there there were guards like right around here that were walking back from this area <laughs> and they just see you walking by and they're just like they kind of they're kind of like squinting trying to make out what the hell they just saw 
and they just like shake their head like oh, and look at each other and they're both like what the fuck was that they weren't kidding about those adventures they were weird <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's a guy with an obs- with obsessed with a duck, a lady obsessed with sticking things in cleavage. You're right, I do need a bag of holding. <laughs> <clears throat> so boys, I got the gold. Come over to this table and I, you know, just pull the bag half out of my cleavage and spill coins everywhere. Yep, here we go. It, it's it, 100. As you go and as you go to pull the uh coin bag out of your cleavage, it goes and uh a little bit of it gets snagged on the mithril chainmail. And as you pull up, it just goes and it starts ripping <laughs> and gold just starts <laughs> spilling onto the table. Grumbles. <clears throat> Grumbles as he kind of was still fiddling with the bow and everything started flopping on the table. By the way, Twig sat in the the fake chair, by the way. No, that's the actual one. The fake one was over by the bar. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm I'm sitting at a bar stool at the table now. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. It's the money uh, shot. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, the, here, here's the thing that while all of it's spilling onto the table, a lot of it, like, it rolls across and just, it hits Yuri's bow and he's just like, <sighs> I'm trying to fix shit here. Oh, you're trying to fix that. Oh, cry some more. I point at it. Mend. You have to Thank actually you. touch it. You can't just point at it. <laughs> mend. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying I can mend that. Here, let me get it. Slides it over to Fargon. I poke it. You, you just mend. see a hand reach up over the table, try and get it. <laughs> It kind of it does the uh uh like a cat reaching under the door, except he's trying to get his hand onto the top of the table. <laughs> it, it's just hitting around on the top of the table. Finally, he finds the bow, and his hand just he lays his hand on it, and you hear from under the table, mend. <laughs> his hand just glows, and the whole bow just glows, and it goes and it just the wood uh the wood just basically pushes itself back together and just forms back into one one bow. Wow. Looks at it for a second, then pulls it back over and loops the, the string back to the bow and tests the bow. It's like, huh. Here you go, Twig. Take your effect. Just a thumbs up from over the table. <laughs> just... It, you do the freaking Terminator shit, just a thumbs up over the table and slowly lower your hand down below the table. I don't have any stool, so I'm just going to stand here. So, Hits, are you going and distributing the gold? Uh, yes. Um, we got five people, 100 gold, that's Twenty a piece. Yep. All right. I slide coins out to everybody. Congratulations! You've won twenty gold. The slides ten over to Fargon. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you don't even uh, slide it. You just go and you kind of like take your take the twenty and then you put like ten into your coin purse and you just kind of like. You turn a little bit and you start flicking them where his hand was. <laughs> just one at a time, just flicking them. So they go and they slide across the table and just fall off. And they're kind of, they're, oh, the shit. first few hit you on the top of the head. <laughs> and all you, all you hear is a gr- like every time one falls off the edge for like the first three, you just hear a grunt. <laughs> And then hey, after Mike. that, it's just, you don't hear anything. It's just him catching him. Mike, don't forget to add a longbow back to your inventory. <clears throat> yeah, I got it. Thanks. We're good. All right. Do we want to call it? <clears throat> yes. It is 11 o'clock. <laughs>